Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are one week away, technically two weeks away from Dragon's Rise. We got two or more qualifying matches left for Raw and SmackDown. We saw Charlotte Flair, Zia Lee, and Natalia and Raquel Rodriguez advance. <clears throat> it's time for another qualifying matchup. Here we have Nikita Lions, a very impressive superstar. Gonna be in action here. First time here on 2K24. Let's see if she can come out on top here. Uh, Nikita Lions, a true fan favorite. And she'll be taking on Nikki Cross. Nikki has been fighting for chances to get to the top ever since she was the Raw Women's Champion for about like two weeks, about a month maybe. Champion for about a month. That was the last time she was the world champion. And it's been fighting ever since to get back to that point. Whether it be here on the main roster or down in the NXT UK when we had NXT UK. I remember last season she fought Rhea Ripley for the NXT UK Women's Championship. Did not come out successful. Got super close. But nothing was enough. So she, here she has ditched the whole superhero gimmick. She let all the madness of getting back to the top cloud her brain and her judgment. Now, whoever wins this match will be qualifying for the Dragon's Rise Battle Royale Eliminator. Who will be joining for Raw, Charlotte Flair and Natalia? I mean, it could be Nikita Lyons since Charlotte and Natalia are both blondes. But we could see the crazy factor in Nikki Cross. Now look at this. Nikki taking this action to the outside. Look at this. Multiple punches. Right to the clubbing blows right to the face. Right on the outside here. This is what... This version of Nikki Cross brings to the ring. Action now coming back inside the ring. And Nikita Lions with the nope. The I meant to say Nikki Cross with the Irish whip, but Nikita Lions with a counter. And now Nikki. Oh! Neck breaker. A vicious one at that. This is the aggression sparking inside of Nikki Cross so she goes for that neck breaker one more time Nikita Lyons is going to have to try to out uh, class Nikki Cross here I mean Nikita Lyons sure do have to add the striking speed and now she's going to try to use it but what, what? Nikki Cross got hit with a big bullet she just instantly pops up this is what Nikita Lyons is going to have to face off against. The crazy factor. But I believe Nikita Lyons, if she can keep her head clear and focus, she could walk out of here advancing the Dragon's Rise. It looks like she's doing that just now. And now Nikita climbing to the top rope. Look at the fly here, folks. Nikita hits with a top rope elbow drop. And now that impact causing her to use uh, Nikki to use the ropes. Got hit with a clothesline over the top rope. Now the count begins here. Nikita Lyons is going to follow her to the outside. But Nikki Cross was great and patiently manages to shove her off. And now tosses her into the steel steps there. 
Nikki falls so she could win this match. She can go to Dragon's Rise, get that first round by, get her super close to becoming a champion once more. And Nikki Keith Nikita just got sent into the steel steps once more. This this Nikki and then Nikita. Oh Nikita. Back kick, heel kick. Right to the jaw, almost knocking out Nikki Cross here. Alliance is doing pretty good on the outside, keeping Frost down for the count. Now she's trying to uh, hurt that leg there. Nikki Cross pretty fast on her feet, but if she can't use it, then that uh, takes her out of this matchup as Nikita brings this action back at the count of six. And now the key to Lions. Split leg drop, but no. Nikki Cross moves out the way. Last second goes for an Irish trip and gets countered. Oh, goes for a roundhouse kick, but the referee got caught in the way. And now look at this. Fisherman suplex. The referee took a nasty bump there, but he's getting back to his feet. But now Nikita with a big a leg kick there. Nikki fires back with a punch. These two gonna just do get out here. Nikita catches that last one of her own. This is for a chance at Dragon's Rise. Who wants it the most? Big chop there. Nikita chop fights back with a big punch. Back and forth. Who's gonna be giving up first? Oh! Big counter. Another punch from Frost. And now these two gonna duke it out. Who's gonna falter? Both of these two took some nasty hits. Nikita manages to catch Nikki Cross's close on. Hits with those clinch strikes. Knees right to the midsection. Hits with a close line. Another close line. Nikita is feeling it. Sweeping the leg. Nikita close to winning this matchup. One, two, kick out by Cross. It's going to take a lot more than that to beat Nikki here. But will Nikita be able to do it another round back wheel kick? A heel kick. And now Nikita Lions taking her opponent away from the ropes. We're going to end this match with the split leg drop into the cover. One, two, three, what? After everything we've seen in this matchup, Nikki Cross is still fighting. Another split leg drop and Nikki Cross moves out the way. And there goes Cross, tossed to the outside. Back on the outside. Actually going to continue here. And oh, big kick there by Cross. The, what we, wait, hang on a second. Got her up. Samoan driver. Right on the outside. And now Nikki isn't finished. She's looking for the fisherman neck breaker. That could be it, folks. All Nikki has to do is get Lions back inside the ring. And the Nikita doesn't go inside the ring. She manages to hold herself off here. That just might have ticked off Nikki Cross there. Now back inside the ring. I didn't even realize the count. It's a count of seven. But Nikki Cross breaks that up. Goes for a leg drop to the back of the head. Nikki is brutal here. All she is is just waiting for Nikita to get back inside the ring. But nope, looks like she's done with that. Gonna follow her right to the outside. Nikita manages to dodge an attack there. Wait, hang on a second. German suplex right into the barricade. That's gonna hurt. And now Nikita looking to bring this action back inside. Stopping the count there. Way she gets shoved off by Frost. 
Gets her. Wait, hang on. Nikki Cross fighting back. Nikki looking for the Fisherman Neckbreaker. Wait, hang on a second. Counter into the well up. One, two, three. And oh my, that reversal managed to get the game set for Nikita Lions. Nikita, in her first match this season, advances to Dragon's Rise. Welcome back to SmackDown here. We have Katana Chance taking on Isla Dawn, but just before that, Alba Fire is going to viciously assault Katana before the match even started. I don't even Katana must be out of it, but she's still saying she's ready to go in this matchup. What a huge advantage for Isla Dawn here. And oh, these two men just almost hit each other, but Isla Dawn takes advantage. But hang on a second. Oh, snap uh, dragon screw right there from Katana. These two are set. These two teams are set to face off. At Dragon's Rise for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. And it's just been a back and forth situation every week. But it seems Katana Chance and Kaden Carter have been getting all the momentum. They've been winning all of their matches. The champions of the Own Holy Union have not won a single match leading up to Dragon's Rise. I, if this momentum keeps going, KC2 could win the championships. And just like they go, Katana's going to win this matchup? No. Quick kick out, just that one. Katana Chance must be badly, badly hurt after what Alba Fire did to her before the match even started. But Katana Chance seems to be doing pretty good so far. Now, oh, face first into the turnbuckle. And now Katana's taking out the leg with a big chop there. And now Katana looking to fly to the outside, but Isla Dawn gets back to her feet, stopping whatever Katana Chance was going to go for. Now, big Irish whip here. Big roundhouse kick right to the chest area. Oh, stomping on the leg, on the ankle. If you take out the leg games of Katana Chance, you take out like 95% of her wrestling. They're trying to go for something there, but Katana Chance further attacking the legs. Goes for an hour flip, but Katana Chance with a counter. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Trying to go for something, but gets countered by Isla Dawn. And Dawn trying to stop on the angle again, but Katana Chance puts a stop to it. Back at fourth situation here, folks. These two act like they know each other so much. I mean, all these counters and reversals. And Katana Chance is in trouble here. Gets him with a wicked combination into a back sloop, a suplex. And now Katana Chance is in trouble as Isla Dawn stomping on the hand and fingers. The big double stomp. Isla Dawn is done playing around here. She's going to make Katana Chance feel every bit of pain. No way. Hang on a second. Countered there into the springboard drop kick. What an impressive springboard there by Katana Chance. And after everything that's happened, she's still finding a way to keep fighting. Ducks under. Lee Fox over. But a counter again by Isla Dawn as she further attacks the legs. And hang on a second. Call of the corners. She goes for the cover. One, two, kick out by chance. Almost pulling away the match right there. And now Ada Dawn looking to put an end to this match right now. Looking for it. Drops down into the cover. This could be it. One, two, three. No, Katana Chance manages to hit a big kick out there. And now Katana 
Back to her feet, but Isla Dawn, multiple elbows right to the midsection. I'm going to show trying to pull back, but Katana Chance kick to the midsection. And now look at this. We got ourselves a brawl here. Back and forth situation. Big counter by, Katana, by uh, Isla. And now back and forth here. Going right, right at each other's faces. Another counter. Counter by Katana. And a big forearm smash. Now look at this. Elbow right to the heart. And now Katana. Oh! Manages to find enough power to hit a knee right to the head. And now look at this. Takedown into the double stomp. Katana Chance seems very resilient here. How much more punishment could she take before she somehow loses this matchup? But wait, she's still fighting. Grabs a leg. Now look at this. Knee smash right to the cranium. But Ana Don gets back to her feet and gets caught with a hair toss. And now looking for another knee smash. No. Ana Don moves out the way last second. Trying to go for something there. But Katana Chance is too quick on her feet. It's with a super kick right to the midsection. But Isla Dawn, multiple elbows to the midsection. Back and forth here into the fisherman suplex. Isla Dawn trying to hype herself up here so that she can beat Katana Chance here. Get her with a start into the knee smash. But wait, hang on a second. Katana sweeps the leg. Big drop kick. And now climbing to the top rope. Looking for something big here. 450 splash off the top. This could be it. One, two, three. No. Katana Chance hasn't done it just yet. Aladon with a big kick out. But to the middle rope. Frog splash, but nobody was home. Didn't get all of it. But Katana Chance is going to keep fighting. Look at this combination ending with a face buster there. And now middle rope. Uh oh, look at this. Phoenix splash into the cover. One, two, three. And Katana Chance picks up some more momentum for the Spitfire Warriors. What a big win here. The Unholy Union need to get themselves their brains on right because their championship match is next week. And it's not looking good with all these losses as we head to the main event. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your main event. Gigi Dolan is supposed to be taking on this person, Tiffany Stratton. But um, it seems Tiffany Stratton is saying she has an injury. And what's Corey J doing out here? It looks like Corey Jade is going to be replacing Tiffany Stratton. Gigi Dolan was prepared to take on Tiffany Stratton here tonight. But now she's facing off against Corey Jade. The referee rings the bell and Corey Jade and Gigi try to uh, come in hot against each other. Looks like Corey J taking off the first hit. Boom! Big sent on. Corey J, the last time we seen Corey J, she actually took a loss. But she is familiar with Tiffany Stratton, so I guess that's why Tiffany brought her out here. But what's going to be on the mind of Gigi Dolan? She was scheduled to take on Tiffany Stratton here tonight. But instead of Tiffany, she's taking on Cara Jade. I wonder if she's even prepared to take on Cora Jade here. I mean, that's all it depends on how this match goes. Tiffany trying to try to play mind games, but Gigi Dolan got a single leg Boston Crab, and Jade manages to escape it. 
This is not how our main event was supposed to go. It was supposed to be taking on it's supposed to be the challenger taking on the champion in a non-title matchup before we head to next week's premium live event. Now GG seems to be doing pretty good so far in this matchup. But anything can change as GG backing up here, letting the new opponent take their time entering the ring but oh gets caught up into the ropes it oh gets caught with a slap Corey Jade showing off talking to her opponent telling her she's nothing I think that just might have made her angry here as Gigi Dolan with these step up kicks oh what a wicked form smash G.G. Dolan is done playing around here against Corey J. She's going to take it to her, but J with a swift kick right there. And now she goes for the cover here. One and a quick kick out. Corey J, G.G. Dolan. I'm pretty sure these two faced off before at NXT. Now they're here on Raw. Main event here. Into the cover. One and a kick out. It's not going to end that quickly. But Gigi Dolan feeling fired here. And this combination of kicks but gets caught into a big boot by Corey Jade. Now Corey Jade trying to go for something there but gets countered. Now Jade getting dragged where she's going to. To the ropes. Big kick there. Another kick. Now look at Gigi, oh, stretching out the body of Corey Jade. And more attacks to the arm. Gigi trying to make sure every part of Corey Jade hurts so that she can put this match away. She's not going to let the Tiffany Stratton mind games get a hold of her. And now Gigi, look at the fly. No, nobody was home. Corey J moved out the way. I'm pretty sure the body is aching of Gigi Dolan. And now, on the outside, oh, headlock takedown by Corey Jade. And what's the ref count here? Count of three. We got seven more seconds. And Corey Jade sliced bread on the outside. The back of the skull landing hard on the floor here. Style lock cover out there. That's where we should count a five. Corey Jade goes to the top rope here. She's looking to do a dive here. Big splash, but nobody was home. And she gets caught with a big boot. And oh, big swift kick by Corey Jade into the cover here. One, two, kick out by Gigi. The number one contender is still standing strong. But imagine if Corey Jade beats the number one contender. Do you know what that would do for her rankings? That just might make her the next ch challenger. Now... Oh, into the barricade goes Jade. And now Gigi Dolan targeting the legs of Jade. I think we're on the count of two here. Fresh on the outside. Gigi got Jade. Where's she going to take her? I think he, she took too long. Corey Jade with the counter. With the elbows right to the midsection. And setting Gigi right into the LED post. But Gigi's still going to fight back. El gets caught with an elbow right to the jaw. Gigi trying to get herself hype up. So is Jade. Count of eight. Gigi needs to get back into the ring. And she does. Manages to break the count. But look at this. Gigi was in trouble there. But she manages to counter. Look at these step up kicks. GG manages to avoid the big shot by Corey J there. Now, what's GG thinking? Oh, more step up kicks 
followed by a face plant. Oh, but she gets caught with that kick there. Manages to avoid the sliced bread into a takedown. Gigi manages to keep her head afloat. But for how much longer before Corey J manages to find her inning? Look at these stomps to the hand. Oh. And now Corey J top rope looking for a dive. Big splash connects into the cover. This could be it. One, two, almost with a kick out. Corey J feeling frustrated. She can't put it in to Gigi Dolan. But Gigi's going to keep fighting here. Big kick to the gut. And now look at this. Boot pressing right into the chin. Gigi Dolan is feeling it here. She still has this match in control. All she needs to do is hit one big move. And she can put this match away. And I think she's looking for it right now. Got it in. Looking for the GG driver. Planting Corey Jade hard. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. No. Corey Jade manages to kick out. Now, GG. I think she tried to go for it again, but Corey Jade with the counter. Kick to the gut. Generation of Jade is in coming here for the cover. One, two, three. And Corey J just beat the number one contender. I guess in the mind games ended up working for Tiffany Stratton. Gigi just took a loss, losing some momentum in our main event we'll see you guys next time but congratulations jade on this big win